I wanted to try this. I wanted to try this because I knew that we had a lot of very artistically gifted teenagers that come on Friday nights. Just in talking with some of you, I, you know, a lot of times we think of art as just <laughs> paintings, or maybe even drawings or etchings. And some of us might go as far as to say, hmm, writing or singing can be an art. But there's a lot of different mediums you can create art in. You can create art by creating music, your <coughs> instruments, your voices, whatever. You can create art through using drafting programs on computers, through a lot of computer programs. Heck, you can go get an old Super Nintendo and use Mario Paint to create art. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Videos are art, they're an art form. Acting, dramatic readings, I mean, all, there are all kinds of art forms. You each have some sort of artistic ability in you. Every one of you does, because you see, when God created you, you retain what's known as a divine spark. It's just a little bit. Because see, he created human beings in his image. And we're broken, we're fallen, you know, we don't look exactly like God would. But we still have enough of his image in us that he can recognize it, that he can see it. And as I read through scripture, I see God's an artist. Have you ever sat and watched the sunset? Or laid out where there's no city lights around and just watch the stars at night? Yeah. Or have you ever really just gotten a good view of the night sky and how immense it is? Have you ever stopped to look or really examine a leaf or a little stream? Mm -hmm. My daughter is almost two years old. And she spent 20 minutes last week following an ant. Little, little creature, but it fascinated her. <laughs> but why do we lose that? Why do we lose that fascination? Why do we automatically get into a, a zone where we don't make time to appreciate the little pieces of art that God gives us? We get so busy. We get busy and we believe what the world tells us. It's only art if it hangs in a museum. Now there is stuff out there that's generated in the media that is not art, at least not good art. But each one of you is capable of creating some sort of art, in some way. And we wanted to give you an outlet for that, a chance to share that, because you don't always get to. I mean, sometimes you guys don't get an opportunity to share what God gifted you with. And we want to give you that opportunity here, in a safe environment. Because as much as he's an artist, he's created millions of smaller artists. And he didn't create those gifts and those desires to be bottled up. He, he created those gifts and those passions to be shared. Some things in nature he created simply to be enjoyed because they were beautiful. And seriously, sunset. There is no scientific necessity for the, those range of colors. But they're there. Northern Lights. There's scientific explanation for why they exist, but they don't necessarily add or detract from life on Earth. I mean, millions of people go through lives without ever encountering it. It doesn't affect them. <coughs> and there are tons of things in this world that are created simply to be enjoyed for their beauty. And we wanted to give you guys a chance to bring some of that out. So, find your giftedness, find your art, express it. Don't get so busy that you, you miss out on some of the art that's around you and creation. Because it's there to be enjoyed. It's there to be admired. And you can create some yourself. So 
Appreciate the pleasure, guys.